morning. We're out here at Canapa this morning. Monday morning with a few nice cars. 8.12 over there and a bug eye station wagon. This area of Canapa is usually off limits, but there's an open house today. Gray 356. A very pretty blue on that car. I'm not sure what that is. Engine parts. Speed tail. What do they have back there? 959, 959, 959. Turbo. M3 GT straight out of Europe. One of our friends has these. I think they only came in British Racing Green. Very cool. Speed tail. Freshly painted car. All the green. Ferrari Daytona, 356, EB110. There's another one in the other room over there. Oh, I gotta start learning my Porsches. 959, Correct GT, so take this in. 959 here, 959 there, there, there. Uh, yeah, there as well. And there as well. So there are six 959s in this room, with I think two more in the other room over there. I like dolly the cars around. 356, I think, Speedster on the jig. Shop space in the back. Very nice fabrication shop. All the parts. I think these are some of the 934, 935 race cars. I'm not really sure what they are. 356 Speedster. Undergoing a full restoration here. And this is only the primer. I'm not really sure what this is, but it's really cool. Carbon fiber wheel arches. The back of the speed tail with the aeroelastic little flaps that up during speed. I think this is a roof special, I'm not sure. I think it might be. Super sick green interior. Wow, I'm black. I almost missed it. Check out the uh, leather wrap green cage in this. The parts room. If I'm correct, these are 959 parts. Two fenders, the rear wing, the front bumper, Lambo Countach, the whole engine is just sitting over here. Exhaust pipes, oh, don't even know what I'm looking at. 959, gull wing, red 959, more 959, 911, dyno machine, headlights, drive axles. Wheels. Wow. They're really organized. 959 Ruby Stone. Oh. Ford GT with a carbon stripe. And this is a Cadillac something. I'm not sure what it is, but very, very clean. It looks very restored. Headlights are behind the grills. Shiny wheels. Massive doors. I think everything's one piece on this car. The uh, bumper to the roof is all one piece. There's no cuts except the one for the trunk. I gotta find out what color this is. <laughs> Check out these center lock wheels. Thick. I don't know what I'm looking at. And I still don't know what I'm looking at. What's that? Trumpets. Thank you. Thank you. Thank cool, cool. Oh wow, look at that uh, ship knob. Oh, Hot wheels. Don't forget, they build real engines and miniature engines too. I think these are the Moby Dicks, I think. Look at that tire. This is my hand, about maybe seven inches, six inches. 
Oh, it says the size here. 14 and a half inches. Huge. Check this out. That's how much it sticks out. So that's why it needs fenders that way. These turbos. Jeez. Oh, that looks like a 917 looking air fan thing. And this is the skeleton of the car. Just naked. This is what the wheel looks like without the turbo fans on versus with the turbo fans on. And same for the front as well. That versus that. All the seats are here. Over here we have Gordon Murray's uh, T33 and the T50. Pre-production, but check out the exhaust, the gold foil, and the geometry. Push rod suspension. Carbon fiber, everything. Wow, Cosro 312. I think that's a luggage compartment over here. Not that much, but it's gonna hold a backpack maybe. Looking inside, we've got the carbon tub, three seats set up, and a manual transmission. Check that out, the carbon fiber exposed linkage. Buttons, the rep counter goes to like 11,000 or something. Front end of the car, retained that heater door design. I don't know, I think it needs a front lip, but I'm sure there's a reason why they didn't put one on. Headlights. Massive brakes. We're out here in the back. I think that's a 993 Carrera RS a race truck. Here we have the roof turbo R for us and a very nice black RS. In the Canapa shop we go. 95 Bugatti, 288 GTO, and that's an XJR15 over there. Wow, in pieces. We have Sally the Carrera, very, very cool. I don't think these are windows, but getting to the XR15, I've never seen it open up. Let's take a look, it's a V12. Look at these headers, jeez. Us right mid driving position. And there's a sequence to turn on the engine. <laughs> these look like TE37s. Headlights, and push rod suspension in the middle. Cool. Oh, it's Sally with a push bar. All right, we're back with a 959 count. That was seven, this is eight, this is nine. I think that might be 10, 11, 12. Thirteen, fourteen. I don't know if you've seen 959 taken apart, but I haven't. I think this one is supposed to be uh, repainted in ruby stone eventually. Stripped out. Green, wow. Blue, stone gray. Well, I don't know, wait, sorry, carbon gray, not stone gray. The engine, the turbos on the 959, check these out. A bare 959 chassis with nothing in it, freshly repainted. Okay, the inside needs some work, but close enough. This is the upholstery station, all the fabrics. Probably really hard to find too. I think this is a 993 GT2R, but I'm not exactly sure. It's got the fenders. In house paper with all the colors. Here we have a 962 and an EV110. It's super cool to see how they have everything under one roof. They have the paint shop over here, some of the techs here, technicians over there too, the upholstery is over here, and then the fabrication shop is back there. 
I'm pretty sure this is one of Canapa's built 959s with I think 700 horsepower or something. Color matching internals, interior, upgraded brakes, and all that. Okay, I found a plaque. It said 959 SC003. Not sure what that is, but probably one of the versions. Very pretty color. The SC upgrades. The brakes. The exhaust system. The turbos. Everything is brand new here. They look like refinished wheels with center lock and wheel. Check this out. All you see is engine and nothing else. Now I'm no expert of the Porsche color palette, but this is a uh, PTS Chroma Fair Python green car. Not sure if this is the exact same one from Toronto, but I think it is based on like the interior and the uh, painted roof, painted hood. For some reason it's in California now with these gray wheels. These are the same center caps from the original car. And a wing delete with these carbon end plates. I don't know. I don't know how many of the, the chroma flare ones they made with painted roofs and stuff, but I'm pretty sure they bought this from Canada. The same car we saw at the PTS RS Triple Zero Rare Shades event in June. Moving on from the chrome flare, we have a 964 Turbo S. Very nice wheels. And I think this is a 944 GTS Carrera. Probably, I might be wrong. Not a black series, SL65. A very nice GT2 RS. One of these cars we never see in the street anymore. Nice dry carbon. Comfort seats interior. Interesting. Little details on this car that Porsche forgot these days. Grey Ford GT. Another GT2 RS. This is more of a standard color palette than that one over there. Also wing delete. Not sure why everyone's doing this. Let's go check out the wing delete. Carbon bits. Here we have uh, Carrera RS 2.7 in white and blue. I prefer this over the green and red spec. Another 959, I think this is number seven. And a 934. Great color. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, Corvette, Corvette something. With a massive knacked up on the side. Don't know what this says either. Don't know what that is either. P1 GTR street with a street conversion. And these are the blinkers for the brake lights. Let's look at the inside. Very pretty in those dive planes. That is is all silver 911R. Most people offer stripes and stuff and bucket seats, but this one has comfort seats. Shifter, ceramic brakes, clear taillights. There's a hype behind these cars, but not, I'm not really sure what, what, what it is, and I want to find out. Green XJ, there's a red one at RM yesterday. Our friend has a silver one in Toronto, the green one is more British. Oh wow, tan interior. 997 GT2, driven one of these, pretty good. Red Carrera GT, slate gray 911 something from 65. This is the Carrera GT prototype or concept car that they did back then. So you can see the headlights are a little different. The fog lights, the wing mirrors. And check out the interior. I think they retain most of um, the concept into the production car, like this center, like really tall armrest over here. But the shifter's a little different from the real one. We'll get to that in a sec. 
the back is basically the same. These little divots show the V10 engine in the back. Wheels maintain roughly the same. Spoiler as well. Not sure if this is a working example, but pretty cool. Tail lights about the same, exhaust about the same. Let's go to the production spec over here. Wheels, wheels. We'll get to the shifter. The wing mirrors retain the same, but I think because of the safety regulations, they have to pull it back. That's the same console. From Amelia Island. In class. Some of the other cars up here in the museum on the second floor. 917, 917, and I think it's a 960 at the end. F1 car, R8 Le Mans car. I think this is a Lancia 037 race car. Check it out. shifter it's just flopped over and there's me posters that's sick flying car this section over here is literally the 9 by 9 bay I think there's like four or five of them parked over here Check this out. This is like the augmented reality building of this. That's so sick. If you get closer, you see all the little cars. That's like car spotting in 2050. And there's a parking lot where we entered. The Apple Visitor Center here in Cupertino. And the Apple Park is right across, but we're not allowed in there. Here we have a Hermes, Hermes uh, owl thing. The Visitor Center Cafe. Up here, and that's the Apple Park, the big office over there. Stop by Stanford University. Check out these arches and that building back there. to San Francisco, why is there like rain clouds? There's water. Decent view. Well, that's not very uh, comforting.